will be going step by step with you on how I made these very yummy Li Hing Moi jello shots. I will be making two batches. So the first one is just gonna be a strawberry jello shot with some Tito's vodka. The second batch, again, strawberry jello, but I'll be adding some Li Hing powder and a seedless Li Hing Moi to top it all off with. For the container, I used these three ounce little mini cups and it actually worked out great. Another container that would be really good are these two ounce portion cups and they have a lid which is really nice. But of course they are a little bit more pricey so I'm gonna save this for something else and I'm gonna use these cups instead. On to making the jello. So I'm gonna follow the instructions that it has right on the back of the box, which is the jello mixture plus two cups of water is what it normally would ask for, but instead I'm gonna tweak it and add three fourths cup of vodka to replace some of that water. So one cup of boiling water, a fourth cup of cold water, and I'm filling it rest up with some vodka. So that'll be three fourths cup of vodka for this batch. And that's it, just mix it until all the sugar is dissolved and then I pour them into portion cups. Since these need to set in the refrigerator, I have lined up all my portion cups inside of a tray to make it easier for me to transport them. And then using a ladle, which was really helpful to pour all the jello shots, um, made it so much more easier and clean. I tried pouring it straight from the bowl in the beginning and I made a mess. So using a ladle was very helpful. All right, on to the second batch. This one, I'm doing the exact same thing with the same amount of vodka. So one cup of boiling water, a fourth cup of cold water, and then a third cup of Tito's vodka. Of course, you can adjust the amount of alcohol you wanna put into these jello shots. Just depends on how strong or not strong you wanna make them. As long as you make sure it's a total of two cups of liquid. You don't wanna go over that or else your jello shots will be very liquidy. To give this batch of jello shots the Li Hing Moi kick, I gave it a hefty sprinkle of Li Hing Moi powder. For those of you who are not familiar with what Li Hing is, it is basically a very sweet, sour, and salty flavored seasoning that Hawaii people love to add on fruits and candies. I'm assuming it's very similar to chamoy in Mexican foods. I know they add it in drinks, fruits, and candies as well. So yes, I'm sure the flavors are different, but it's the same exact concept. After they sit in the fridge for six hours, I added sweet lihing moi on top of them so we could distinguish which one was lihing moi flavored. They were a great hit at our family gathering, something super quick and easy that you can make for a great time.